Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you're shocked to see me not actually holding you, but I thought I would switch it up. So welcome and welcome if you guys are new. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, it's gonna be five things that I cannot relate to when it comes to YouTube moms. I have my little cheat sheet here um, that I'm gonna go over. But if you watched my last video, and I'll link it down below, it was kind of talking about how I felt like as a mother and a small YouTuber and before that these other mommy bloggers and vloggers were living this like perfect lifestyle. And so I felt like I had to buy things and do things and whatever just to maintain or try to achieve that perfect image that they were achieving. So this is going to be bouncing off of that. I got a lot of really, really awesome comments from that video. So thank you everybody for watching that one. But I'm going to go ahead and start with five things that the moms of YouTube do that I cannot relate to. Okay. So the first thing that I cannot relate to when it comes to all of the mommy vloggers out there is their like taupe or white, beautiful, glowing kitchens that look like sterile enough to do surgery in. Now, I'm not throwing shade on any of them. I think that your style is your style, but I feel like it's the whole white farmhouse taupe or like dark grays or whatever the modern look. To me, it looks very cold and like not homey. And I know that there's like a huge minimalist thing going around and I just, it doesn't seem like home to me. When I think of like a kitchen, I think of I don't know, not a lot on the counters, but seeing some things like on your counter and having things out of place. How much money do you make? <laughs> I feel like all of these mommy YouTubers, if you look at their kitchens, I, I'm using their kitchen as an example. If you look at their kitchens and their bedrooms, it's like white or taupe and it all looks the same. It's like farmhouse, it looks identical. And like I said, it just looks too sterile to me. It just doesn't seem warm and it's just not relatable, relatable to me. The second thing that I cannot relate to when it comes to what these mommy vloggers are doing is two things. One, planning in general, like plan with me's. I had a subscriber mention that to me and I'm like, wow, I'm the same way. I felt like I tried to be that, like I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna plan my day for tomorrow and I'm gonna write this down and I'm gonna just knock it out of the park. Now, if you are, if you are that person that can actually follow a schedule and a routine, like more power to you, this is simply what I cannot relate to. I think that I've tried in the past and here's what ends up happening. I write out a like to-do list and a meal plan and it's not realistic to me and I can't relate because I find that I don't always get everything done on the checklist or the to-do list and I kind of feel like, oh well, crap, or I forget to even do it or I don't look at it and I just, it ends up being something that I don't use or do and it's something that I was drawn in by a YouTube, bleh, YouTuber mommy and planning is just not for me. When it comes to the whole meal planning, I would love to say that I'm a good meal planner and the truth of it is, is I'm not, especially with children. I have an almost four year old and she is extremely, extremely, extremely picky eater, which I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that one. But when I see these mommy vloggers, like, f first of all, like good for them. If you can stick to a meal plan, you're awesome. For me, it's like, oh man, like I don't wanna cook tonight, I'm tired or it's been a really hard day, we're ordering a pizza, we're going to the McDonald's drive-through. It's just gonna happen that way. And not only that, when it comes to the whole meal planning thing, like you don't have to buy organic to be healthy. I'm just saying, like you don't have to be, like if you don't buy organic, you're nowhere near less than anything. Like you're still awesome. If you eat an organic cucumber, cool, good for you. If you eat a regular cucumber, like, heck yeah, good job eating healthy. But when it comes to like planning different meals, 
I know for a fact that if I make like steak, a baked potato and like have a salad, there's no way my toddler is going to eat any of that. Here's what she's going to say. Mom, can I have some pasta? Mom, I want some noodles. Can I have fruit snacks? Mom, I don't like that. I don't want that. And then you deal with the mom guilt. Like, should I give them, you know, what they'll actually eat? Or should I be like, no, this is your choice. And you can either eat it or your tummy might be hungry later. Your choice is to have what I made you or you can go have like an apple or a banana. But then sometimes you're like, man, like I'm guilty of that. I've made like an extra side of pasta when we're not having anything near pasta. So seeing these families like sit down and eat their like all healthy organic dinners and claiming their kids eat all of it all of the time is not realistic to me at all. But again, no shade. Kudos to you guys. If you can actually meal plan, stick to it and get your kids to eat it like, woo, good for you. The third thing that I cannot relate to when it comes to mommy vloggers is the perfect photos. I just, first of all, I don't have the time, money, energy, it would, and effort it would take to get my four-year-old to actually look, smile, and then simultaneously have my nine-month-old look and smile because when I'm telling you know, my baby, look here, look here. My four-year-old's looking at the sister and I'm like, no, 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 look here. And then, you know, it's just too chaotic. It's so crazy. If I get cute photos, like on a whim, that is a win for me. But again, I don't have all the money in the world to go buy matching outfits, to buy decor for every single holiday. It's like, I feel like a lot of them will be like, oh, it's Father's Day. So I'm going to go buy a whole bunch of decor for my house because it's Father's Day and I'm going to get this perfect photo. To me, I cannot relate to that. I try really hard to get some cute photos of my kids, but I don't in any way, shape or form try to like set up any like posing in a pumpkin patch or, you know, matching outfits. It's not relatable to me. And again, if it's for you, rock on, like whatever makes you happy, keep doing that. Number four, again, if you are this person that can actually do this and be honest about like, I can do this, you're amazing. But creating a schedule, like a nighttime or a morning routine and actually do it every single day and it goes perfectly, which most mommy YouTubers and vloggers, again, they show you this much of their life. And of course, it's going to look polished and perfect it just is and that's not realistic it's super fake but the schedule the the morning routines and the nighttime routines man if I for one got my children to bed at the exact same time every night like if it's within like an hour time frame I'm happy but that like for instance bath night that does not always happen like I have full intentions of giving my my four-year-old a bath, but if she's like, I'm not gonna do it. Like, I don't wanna do it tonight, we're not doing it. I'll be like, cool, that's awesome, but you're gonna take one tomorrow, okay? Because I'm choosing to pick my battles and I would rather go and like lay with her and spend time with her than fight with her over getting in the bath when I could just be like, all right, cool, we're doing it tomorrow though. And I know there's a line of like, who's in charge and who's not, but I definitely believe in like picking your battles but I can't relate to really like hardcore schedules. Like we came home from school, we played this activity, then we had dinner and then we all cleaned up and then we all had a bath and then we all read a book and then we all went to bed. Like that's not real. That's not realistic in my life and I cannot personally relate to it. I'm more of a fly by the kind of the seat of my pants kind of mom. And I just try to make whatever instance that I'm in work for my sanity, my husband's sanity, and also for my children's happiness. And I try to realize every day and all the time that imperfection is the most beautiful thing in the whole wide world. Because if everything was perfect, how boring would that be? That would be so incredibly boring. And I just... I kind of just go with the flow of the day and I use my best judgment when things are brought to me, I guess. Okay, so the fifth and final thing 
that moms of YouTube vloggers do that I cannot relate to are the like Target grocery, um, what am I trying to say? Like clothing hauls, like try on hauls and stuff like that. I can't relate to that. Um, I did do a grocery haul um, with my fellow YouTuber, Amy Robinson. Go check out her channel. But that was mainly just to show the difference between the United States, like basic groceries versus what they do in Wales. But I can't, I, I can't relate to mainly, not necessarily groceries, but I would say more the clothing trying on hauls and the Target hauls. Like I personally... And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of, you know, regular Joe moms like me out there who don't have the extra money to just go to Target and be like, oh, this is really cute. I'm just going to go ahead and buy this. It's not a problem. Like there are moms out there that are like, man, I don't know what I'm going to feed my kids later because I don't have that much money or I lost my job due to this pandemic. Or, you know, there's moms out there that can't pay rent, single moms. There's just such a broad variety of people that struggle day to day and they can't just go and buy a bunch of clothes and try them on and click the link and buy whatever they're like showing like it's just not realistic to me it's not relatable um it's really really nice that you know these other women that can do it I'm I'm glad that they're able to do it and I'm not trying to uh, I'm going to get backlash for this but I'm not trying to sound jealous or mean in any way shape or form I'm literally just trying to say that it's not realistic for my life and I've had a couple of my subscribers most of my subscribers say to me it's not realistic to them either um people are just trying to get by and again it's not realistic and imperfection is way better in my opinion um but I don't want to discourage anybody from going and watching the moms of YouTube, the mommy channels, the vlogging. Go If it makes you happy watching them, and some of them are really fun to watch, go do it. Absolutely. Just remember that you don't have to live up to their standards. You don't have to have a mansion. You don't have to meal plan. You don't have to have perfect Kodak moment photos. You don't have to have a, B, and C perfect scheduling, and you don't have to have the money, all the money in the world to go buy candles or go buy clothes or go buy different gadgets, whatever. You're still amazing. You're still an amazing mom. You're still amazing woman, man, whoever's watching this. You're still awesome. You don't have to live up to mommy YouTubers and their perfect lifestyle because I'm here to tell you that it's not perfect. You, like I said before, you get this much of their lifestyle and it's not relatable to me. It could be relatable to you and that's okay. I would love to hear in the comments down below, what are some things that you see other mommy vloggers or YouTubers doing that you're like, there's no way I could do that. There's no way I could afford that. There's no way my kid would eat that. There's no way I would eat that. There's no way that I could get that perfect photo and there's no way that my house would be that clean because I'm that person, you know, and I want to hear what kind of person you are. I want to know if, am, am I the only mom that like shoves all of the crap off the couch, tries to put the kids there and tries to take a good picture of them because my house is not always clean. Like it's far from it, but I do a damn I, I, I try damn hard, there we go, I try damn hard to provide the love, cleanliness, food, everything that I can possibly do in my power to provide for my family, and it's okay for me, and it's relatable to me. Leave me in the comments down below what you cannot relate to when it comes to mommy vloggers or Instagram people the perfection lifestyle that we see on a day-to-day. -day. Leave me down below what you can't relate to because I think it'd be really fun to even compile like all of the answers and share it with you guys because we, the majority of my viewers are mamas and we got to stick together. Us average Joe fly by the seat of our pants mamas, we got to stick together because 
I feel like there's a lot more of you out there who agree with me that most of the crap that's on there, I'm sorry, I should not have said crap. The most of the stuff that we see on YouTube is fake, not relatable. And I think it'd be a really nice change of pace to hear about what the average Joe mamas do, if you know what I mean. So if you liked this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider subscribing. It's totally free. Helps me out. And I love to see all of the comments that you guys have been sending to me. I love that. And if you're new, introduce yourself. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.